So I'll introduce um, the case study. This is for a global international retailer, the second largest retailer in the world in terms of revenue. Um, they have outlets in over 30 countries, almost 500,000 employees, with uh, over 120 million billion, excuse me, billion dollars in revenue for 2011. Our goals with this application um, are to do multifaceted across the organization from the real estate and site selection to store performance and loyalty card customer um, monitoring, as well as to help with their geo marketing through direct marketing campaigns. So our solution is the geo dashboard. And what we're seeing on the screen as it comes up is we're seeing various various thematic legends of data, including stores, competitors, we're looking at penetration rates, which is the rate of loyalty card customers in an, in an area to the total population. We're looking at loyalty card customers in this pie charts by active versus inactive. Um, and we're seeing these for different regions throughout the, throughout the country of France. I'll change to a new, a new store location and do a little bit of, the, of a workflow of the analysis going from store performance monitoring to site selection um, and all the way through direct marketing campaign. Sort of modeling this in the predictive analytics of what a new store, is, the concept of a new store going from location to actual um, data around that. So see, we're now in sort of a different region. And if I zoom out a little, you get, you'll see some of these penetration rates that will show us areas that we've got sort of a lower penetration rate and areas of inactive customers, the areas where you were looking in yellow. If I look at, just click on an area, you're seeing data that's coming through queries from the business systems in the back end, whether they're Oracle, Spatial, or other data sources that are making up making up this type of data. So obviously, this looks like there might be some potential opportunity for a new store just in this area based on a sort of low penetration rate and a sort of a lower utilization of customer loyalty cards in this area. So let me turn off some of these layers just for a little bit of, of viewing. Actually, what I can do is um, just lower the visibility. And I'm going to switch over to a a hybrid satellite view and zoom in on one area that might be promising. Zoom in. We've got an area. Looks like we've got an area where there's a little bit of development going on. So I want to start to model the concept of what a new store might look like in this area. This this retailer has stores that are from 1,000 square feet convenience stores to 100,000 square foot mega supermarkets. So let me just do a little bit of a measurement just to get an area, an idea of, of how many square meters are, a footprint where it might be. So I'll just do a quick, just sort of a rough. So we're looking at a, this, with this footprint about a, a 40,000 square foot area, square meters, excuse me. So I'll just close that down. I'm gonna go into an application we built for constructing what a new store might look like at this location. So I'll just sort of move the Move the map around to give us a little bit of real estate. So if I click on the map at this location, we're going to see some of the attributes pop up. Some of these things are, are being filled in, the types of brands are in the store, whatever the store code will be, the demo name. And what we're trying to do is construct a, a model of what we think this store will be. So we'll do a 40,000 square meter. Uh, we don't know the opening date. Stores in project, we can model the number of cashiers. Say we want 20 checkouts, uh, room for 250 cars, we'll say 100 employees. What we're doing is basically constructing a model of what we think this store might look like. That request will be saved. We've got it now in our database, ready to sort of pass on to new, um, to the real estate and site selection teams for them to do further analysis. So now what if we want to do retail trade analysis on these? What's, what's the retail landscape? Still constructing this model, this predictive model of what this store might look like. We can do a drive time analysis around this location. So if I do a drive time, selecting the same area, and I do a 5, 10, 15 minute, I'll compute those. What it'll give me, I'll zoom out. So now we're looking at a spatial representation of the areas that are around. We'll change the base letter just to see. We've got a spatial representation of what 
the 5, 10, 15 minute driving times around this potential new store look like? All right, that's good. We're sort of getting some context of the of the location and in, in the areas around it. But now, so I want to do some further analysis and further refinement the chain zones by bringing in other data, demographics data, potential customer data. I can do an extraction and selection of this data based on the drive time analysis or construct around this potential new store. And what we'll see when I create these selections is we'll have we'll now have a tabular view. We'll have a tabular view consisting of the population and customer data for these within 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and less than 5 minute drive areas. So we can select individual ones, we can do some further analysis on you know, what, the, what the customer base in these retail areas might be around this potential new store. We went from conceptually looking at areas of customer loyalty card to be able to then find an area that potentially might be a new store to being able to do a smart analysis of the retail area and how the landscape based on the customers as well as as well as the potential competitors landscape might look like. So now let's go a step further. We've got the selection here. We've got the drive time analysis of the zones. Instead of looking at population and customer demographics, let's look at direct marketing. If we want to do a direct marketing campaign for this area, just to see, you know, how many mailings we should be sending out, how many, what is sort of that landscape looking like. So instead of doing the selection and the extraction on population data and customer data, we'll do it on distribution zones. We'll extract those by the different drive time areas. And what we'll see, create another selection based on that. Very simple, easy to use. We've now got selected, these are our original selections of population. Here we're selecting the drive time, I mean, excuse me, the, the within the drive time areas, the different distribution zones that make up that. And then a tool we built for this retailer is the ability to model these distribution networks to basically see how many direct mailing campaigns should be sent to each network. So with those selected areas based on a, a, the analysis of this potential store, which is this, this region, we can check, we can select a different type of model to pass off to an external SPSS business model that says how many mailings we should be sending out based on these different model parameters. So you've got destabilization, conquest, strengthening, and various parameters. As we change these parameters, it's being informed by the ge geographic selections as well as the mo other model parameters. It, what it returns is the ability to change the, the number of mailings that should be sending out to each one of these zones in the area. So that's just a quick overview and see how we've gone from looking at customer data, how often our customers are using this system, using in certain areas to be able to sort of pass off and join different areas of, of the retail enterprise from the site selection of real estate through the performance monitoring to even the direct marketing, all in a very intuitive and easy to use interface.